want to ask you a question, you know. Do you need help? Are you in need of a rescue action? Well, I have good news for you today. We're going to focus on the matter of help, how we have help, and it's always ever available. Let's open this healing service with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Yes, friends, true enough, there is help in the time of need. Let's have a few readings on this, a poem on the matter of help in the time of need. There's help in the time of need from the Most High and Holy One to assist you when you have no one at all to come to your aid nor heed your urgent call. The Lord Almighty will lift you up from the fall. Help in the time of need. The infinite makes his sun to shine on the evil and the good. His rain waters the crops of the sinner and the saint. God does not favor nor play games. I wonder why many Christians don't do the same. To deny help to the poor woman. It's a shame, shame. There's help in the time of need. When your cupboard is bare and no one in the world seems to care, trust in the Lord to provide all you need to eat and meet. For the divine love of God is plenteous, kind, and honey sweet. True enough, friends, we do, as believers, have help from the Father. Now let's have a few readings from the scriptures on this matter. This is from Psalms. Unto thee will I cry, O Lord, my rock. Be not silent to me, lest if thou be silent to me, I become like them that go down into the pit. Hear the voice of my supplication when I cry unto thee, when I lift up my hands unto thy holy oracle. Draw me not away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity, which speak peace to their neighbors, but mischief is in their hearts. Give them according to their deeds and according to their wickedness of their endeavors. Give them after the work of their hands. Render to them their desert, because they regard not the works of the Lord, nor the operation of his hands. He shall destroy them and not build them up. Blessed be the Lord, because he have heard the voice of my supplication. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him. And I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoices with song when I praise him. The Lord is their strength, and he is the saving strength of his anointed. Save thy people and bless thy inheritance. Feed them also and lift them up forever. So you see, you are helped by the infinite, the almighty God, however, you relate to God or whatever name you call God to be, whether it's Yahweh, Jehovah, Jesus, Brahman, Allah, or whatever, a creative force. There's only one, and that help is ever available to help you. Here again we have from Psalms. In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in thy righteousness. Bow down thine ear to me. Deliver me speedily. Be thou my strong rock for a house to save me. So you see, you can go to that helper, which is a strong rock, a mighty fortress. People in the world, persons, personalities, human beings, sometimes they'll help you, sometimes they won't. But God is an ever-present help, always available, close as he than breathing, nearer than hands and feet, and you can rest assured that if you in truth, true, 
joyfulness and trust, you shall receive the help. For thou art my rock and my fortress, therefore for thy name's sake, lead me and guide me. Pull me out of the net that they have laid privily for me, for thou art my strength. See, you can be lifted up out of the dire situation, out of the snare that you may have fallen into, or that those who are your enemies may have devised for you to be caught up in, so that they may endeavor to cause you to be at their command. But you see here that you have the strength of the Almighty God to pull you up out of that net, to deliver you from the intentions, the evil intentions that others may have planned for you, to devise for you, to cause your downfall. But you have that divine help. Into thine hand I commit my spirit. Thou hast redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. I have hated them that regarded lying vanities, but I trust in the Lord. That's the key to have this help. You see, God is not going to force the help on you, but you must trust. You must be like as a little child. Jesus said, a little child shall lead them. You must have the faith and the trust of a little child that God is your father and some say mother to help you to gain deliverance. I will be glad and rejoice in thy mercy, for thou hast considered my trouble. Thou hast known my soul in adversity, and hast not shut me up into the hand of the enemy. Thou hast set my feet in a large room. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. Mine eye is consumed with grief. Yea, my soul and my belly, for my life is spent with grief. For you see, when you are in trouble, that's many times the only time that people even want to have anything to do with God, you know. When things are going well and everything is, you know, hunky dory and this and that, you know, a lot of people tend to forget. You know, they think that everything is dependent upon them, that they did everything, you know, that mine did everything. Funny thing, though, when they are in trouble, that is a dire situation that they cannot deliver themselves from. Many times that's when people get religion, you know. But you believers shouldn't be as that, for you want to always maintain close personal relationship with God, Jesus Christ, or whatever you consider your God. See, to maintain that close relationship, but. I trusted in thee, O Lord. I said, Thou art my God. My times are in thy hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and from them that persecute me. Make my face to shine upon thy servant. Thy servant. Save me for thy mercy's sake. So you see, let the lying lips be put to silence, which speak grievous things. So you see, that we should be of good courage. And he shall strengthen your heart, all ye that hope in the Lord. So, you will believe it. Truly, I'm sure. You hope in the Lord. You hope and trust in God. And truly enough, you shall be saved. Again, we have from Psalms. Thou hast seen it, for thou beholdest mischief and spite, to requite it with thy hands. The poor committed himself unto thee. Thou art the helper of the fatherless. So you see, God is the helper of all, of the orphan, motherless, the fatherless, the, ch the little children. God is the helper of all, and he is your defense. 